What's up, banditos? Tux has your back, helping you milk every bit out of what the Division 2 has to offer. If you want to wield the strongest assault rifle build in this game, then stick around because I have it for you right here. Hit the like right now and comment extreme power down below. Let's go. This is the strongest assault rifle build in the game and one you need in your arsenal right now. If you catch my live streams, then you might have seen us put this together and run it in this build lab. The setup is basically the same. I simply optimized it and now having it hitting at 1.68 million solo. Of course, you can get that number higher in a group because of the possible team buffs. As you know, assault rifle builds are already amazing in this game. And with the upcoming patches and new gear sets, ARs are going to become even more popular than ever. The setup you're seeing is hands down the strongest AR build in the Division 2. From what I see Coming with TU15 and Season 9, it looks like this will still be king. This is not a run and gun and more of a play from cover playstyle build. Some would call that a relaxed playstyle, which opens this build up for a lot of players out there. Even in solo legendary, nothing stands a chance against this build. The legendary tanks and elites go down in a flash. So I am soloing District Union Arena on legendary just for a demonstration of power. This is where underperforming builds come to die. And by testing here, I am also demonstrating its survivability. So although I am running this build all red, the survivability is great even in solo legendary because of the amazingly fast time to kill. And we're not running glass cannon and still have peak performance damage, which I must say is a nice added bonus. This is an important build for your loadouts because it sets the high mark for all future assault rifle builds. There is a good chance that this will remain the strongest assault rifle build in title update 15, but we will see. The cool thing is, it's so powerful, there is a ton more room for even more survivability if you want to add it in. But I must say, it feels really good to wield this kind of power and to think the upcoming expertise system will give us the power to be even more stronger. I really can't wait. Another reason it will be worth investing in this build is that it is so versatile. In order to get to the max assault rifle damage, you must run this particular assault rifle variant. And actually this exact AR with this exact setup. There are other AKMs out there, but their damage is a little bit lower in exchange for a little bit more stability. I have the ADEX scope for 30% headshot damage, an extended mag and crit mods. Damage to targets out of cover for the bonus attribute and measured for the talent. This was tested against strained and Optimus and for ARs, it does produce the highest damage value on the back half of this mag. The speed ramps are nice too. You get faster RPMs for more burst damage, which is nice on a slower AR. And it's so strong you don't miss out on any damage modifier fire there. On the back of the mag, it gets even stronger and slows down, which actually helps us land more shots on target if enemies are still alive. It's not uncommon to kill multiple enemies with a single mag. Players Cub, the latest classified build is called Nightcrawler, and it is a DPS status effect hybrid build with amazing powers you don't want to miss. It's like nothing you've seen before. Try it. If you didn't know, classified builds are secret builds made just for Texas Players Club. These are truly extra builds. I make as a thank you for supporting me in the channel and the Division 2 community. I've dedicated myself to uniting the player base and now host the most active cross-platform Division 2 community out there. If you want to tap into these secret builds while supporting the cause, click the join button or link down below. So you know, you can use any assault rifle you wish and this will still be the strongest setup for it. But if you want the strongest AR build in the game, this is the AR you need. Great news, this build is easy to farm and assemble. I bet most of you already have most of the pieces. Another reason the 8x scope is important is because it activates our chest talent. I'm running focus on an all crit chest piece. This gives us 50% multiplicative damage when in scope. I tested this loadout using the pristine example, which gives us an additional 10% multiplicative damage when we're in scope. But the non-perfect version produces higher damage output because the chest piece Cheska makes room for more crit damage on the build, which is also multiplicative. And if you're wondering, glass cannon gives us less damage with more incoming damage to us. The backpack is Grupo. It's fully critted out with Vigilance for 25% more weapon damage. That's more burst damage. I'm running four pieces of 
striker, and by now you know this set works nice on almost every assault rifle. The AK is a wild animal, so the weapon handling and RPMs are much appreciated. The fourth piece gives us 25% amplified damage. All the other striker pieces have weapon damage and either crit chance or crit damage on them. I am using Gunner for 10% armor on kill. I get 10% weapon handling when standing still and also get faster reloads and RPMs as bonuses. It also gives us ammo back. Another good option would be Sharpshooter for more recoil control. Hey, you should know that I'm also streaming different Division 2 content on Twitch now. Be sure you follow me over there as well. It's never a dull moment with the Tux brand. Link below. The stats are as expected. We have as many crits as the build can take. Remember, focus and measured and striker are where the high damage output originates on this setup. The crits are merely bonus. I don't recommend adding a bunch of armor for the sake of it. That won't help much, but adding additional armor will be okay if you have the armor on kill or regen to go with it. Start with your offense and then work in your defense. Adding an AR with really nice handling on it will also be a move to more survivability by way of kill efficiency. It won't hit as hard, but it will land more bullets and you need those shots to land when it counts. Check out this all red foundry build. It kills fast and heals fast and will change the way you look at makeshift repairs. Brought to you by Sheep that hate haircuts. Tuxedo out.